Hi, my name is uh, Mats Paxberg and I'm a teaching professor at the University of Copenhagen in Denmark. And I'm also working as a composer and a big band conductor. Some years ago I made a CD with my band. It's called The Big Band and we made a CD called Almost Music. And now I've made a teaching material for students at universities, at conservatories, at high schools or gymnasiums that they can work with and uh, get into the big band music. The purpose of the project is to give you teachers some material that you can work with right away with your students. Also to show the world about Danish big band music and last give the students a good encounter with the big band music and the music written in scores. Some of the areas that we get into in the material is the relationship between lyrics and music, form, knowledge about the instruments, mutes, doubling instruments like saxes and flutes, time, feeling, double time, and also the feeling of tonality, voicings and harmony, and solos, and backgrounds to solos. Then there is something about how musicians quote other songs or other musicians in jazz. And then of course there's also something about jazz styles and different jazz genres. There are some of the songs that have special themes and one of them is uh, almost symphonic that has a lot of quotes to film music, to John Williams, to Star Wars and the Darth Vader theme. In Almost Kapellmeister, you'll be presented to strings, to tone rows, and to odd measures. Then there's almost nothing, and as you can hear by the title, there's almost nothing in the song, and actually there's only one tone per instrument. Then there's the piece Almost All, and it contains all the themes from all the other almost original songs. All the tasks and questions are divided into different levels, so you can work with students that have almost no skills and students that have worked a lot with big band jazz or jazz or score analyzing before. I've added my own answers to the questions and in the back of the material you'll find some form analysis to all the pieces. I've also added some practical exercises for all the pieces that contains singing clapping and playing the music on conventional instruments that you'll have on your high school, university or your conservatory. So it should all be served for you on a golden plate so you can just get on with it with your students and it would please me a lot to hear if some of you found time to look at the music and work with it with your students. If you have any questions to the material or you find any problems in the material, you're very welcome to write me a mail and I'll try to answer it the best I can. If you come from a school that has their own jazz orchestra or jazz ensemble, I'd be thrilled to come and work with my music, with the students or with the ensemble. I wish you the best of luck and hope you'll have a lot of fun working with the material. Bye. Now what's all that fuss and noise happening here? Is it clear atmosphere that puts a click in my hip hop ear? No, I said no. Cause I can see saxophone and trombone that plays their own little unknown jazz tone. Now what's all that shit about variety in society? Is it just a set way to strengthen?